and hello again, Internet. So, why am I sitting here staring at a DOS prompt? Well, because I want to get something out of the way before I begin this game. I'm actually a bit worried about doing this particular game because it is the first game I have done that has commercial licensed music in it. This is Test Drive Off-Road, and it contains on its soundtrack three songs from the band Gravity Kills. Blame, Enough, and Guilty. Now in this day and age with how absolutely, well, let's just say that both Twitch, YouTube, and several other online video places have not been favoring content creators so much as the big companies and if they want to silence my stream as I do this or put copyright stuff and advertisements on my video which I don't do on YouTube I don't know if there's much I can say about it because this could get hit with the automatic content violation and uh, that worries me I just want to point out though that you know gravity kills they wanted their songs to be on this game this is part of the game this is not my own personal soundtrack CD this is the game CD in here so I've got the music set as low as I can I'm not gonna turn it off though because quite frankly the soundtrack is part of the experience of this game it's why I love the game it's honestly why I like the band they're not my favorite band but I do enjoy the music and I found them thanks to this game as I'm sure others did so hey it worked guys but that's why I'm sitting here anyway let's go ahead and jump in here test drive off-road made in as made in 1997 released by accolade as you can see we're gonna go and take a look now I'm not I am gonna try to play through the entire game it's a short game it's a racing game it's probably gonna be just a one-day thing I honestly don't want to do a second day just in case there is copyright problems with it but here we are here's that opening video and there's the music going right away not quite the licensed music yet but well I guess it is it's just yes yeah, see featuring the music of gravity kills right there in the game it mentions it now this game test drive series is actually older than the need for speed series but um this particular version came out in 1997 which is well after several of the need for speed games focuses more on the off-road cars as you can tell there's a Humvee here's a Jeep I'll be playing it, you start with four cars that are unlocked there are um, four more that you can unlock as you play you get a monster truck a buggy stuff like that I am letting the video play but I'm trying to talk over it to avoid the automatic copyright oh my god it's playing commercial music yes it is it is and that's part of the problem that's why I'm worried yeah, and as long as I'm doing the game today, I'm also going to be doing something else. You see, I have in my hands right now a drink that also goes back to the 90s. In fact, it was last released in 1993. So I probably should have done this last game, but I didn't have a didn't manage to find any bottles of this until yesterday. I am holding Crystal Pepsi once again. And this stuff is back for a limited time. It was very hard to find, as I'm sure you can imagine. We've had to go all over the place, gas stations, before we finally found a couple bottles that were still available for sale. This has been pretty popular. I've got a bottle of regular Pepsi here, and I am going to compare the two. I haven't had this in more than 20 years, obviously. I am looking forward, because I was one of the people who liked Crystal Pepsi. I'm glad that the LA Beast, I'm glad that... Brad Jones, they were campaigning to bring this back. It's back, at least for a limited time. Let's go ahead and compare this. And we get the, uh, and again, I'm letting the credits here roll. PlayStation conversion. Now, see, that's interesting. That this game was on PC first, and then translated to um, PlayStation. And the PlayStation version actually does have more cars available. There's a couple extra bonus cars, I believe. This is the PC version, because all the games that I'm running right now are PC. Let's go ahead and try out this Crystal Pepsi real quick. Mm. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. It is a little different than regular Pepsi. In fact, I'm going to have some regular Pepsi right now as a comparison. Try a little bit of that. Oh, yeah. The, the regular Pepsi is much sweeter. It's got a sweeter taste to it. Yeah, this is what you wanted to hear, right? I, I'm here to play video games, so let's talk about Crystal Pepsi. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, I actually like it. It's a little bit of a muted flavor, but it's still a really good cola. Oh, I love this. I am so glad it's back. I'm going to enjoy this. I've only got two bottles of it right now, but I will definitely be getting more, and I hope they bring it back for good for at least a couple more years. So, we have a practice race. We have mixed league. We have class races. Options here. Now, I do have it. Um, you can't choose between miles and kilometers per hour. In fact, I don't think it displays any of them. This is the highest resolution available for the game, unfortunately. Highest graphics. Uh, controls, it does say it can supports a keyboard and a gravis pad. It would not let me select either of these, even though I have a 360 controller hooked up, which does work in DOSBox. That is one thing, despite this game being 1997, it's a DOS game. So I was able to run it in DOSBox, th DOS box, thank God. I am looking forward to trying it out again. I remember this game actually being fairly fun when I played it before. I have the sequel as well. We'll deal with that one later. But let's get into it, see sound effects. I got my CD level down to minimum. Auto CD track, which you can choose. There's more than just the three songs. There's the three songs in their bass version. They have the instrumental version as well, and there's a bunch of extra music. But you're here. I want to listen to Gravity Kills, let's be honest. I love these songs. To the point where I've actually used this CD as an audio CD on several occasions, because I just love listening to this music. It gets in your head, it's good stuff. So let's do an actual league race and see if we can maybe unlock something. Okay, uh, player one, I am the name tag. Oh, nope, can't do the name tags, just name tag. And I can do the Hummer League, I can do the Jeep League, I can do the Land Rover League, or I can do the Chevrolet League, which is a truck there, obviously. So, uh, what do you guys... Th well, let's go ahead and try out the Land Rover to begin with. Right or left arrow to choose vehicle. Um, I'm... Down arrow to choose color scheme. Land Rover Defender 90. Yeah, there we go. Land Rover Defender 90. Uh, left and right to change vehicle. I'm in a league. I can't do that. And I've got all of four colors. Let's go with red. I think red looks good on this car. Land Rover. And they're obviously using the mod that has the... Uh, doesn't have the shell on the truck bed. Speed. more. It's a fairly average vehicle. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, looks like I've got three rounds or so. Oh, how, does, how well does this game work? We shall see. On your marks, go! And immediately they're trying to knock me off the road. Awesome. And I do have this on medium, which is the base difficulty. Um, yeah. These driving mechanics so far, not the best. It's... Um, I don't want to say there's a delay to it, but I'm having to slow down. Not exactly break around corners. And, of course, the slower you go, the harder the break works. I don't know what these arrows are about. I think those are... Any enemy vehicles, uh, opponents that are nearby. Ah, controls, controls. Got a little fishtail that going on right there. It's back on the road. Oh, and kicked me back off the road. Oh, I missed the gate. Oh, you have to actually be on the road and hit the gate. So, so much for off road, huh? Look at that. oh, God, trees. I found trees. Trees are stronger than my car. Well, I've lost this race, I think. Let's see how... Oh, man, look at that popping. Just look at that popping. Oh, it's terrible. And this is with the set as large as possible. Fortunately, we don't have the um, licensed music going right now that I can tell. It's just basic background song, which is good. Bit of rubber banding AI there. You see how much slower they're going when they're in front of me. I mean, these are all the same car, so the only difference in this is going to be the driver. And they slow down if they're in front of you in order to help you try to catch up. Oh, he's taking a shortcut. You see that? He just said, heck with the road. I'm going off of it. Although, why you'd want to do that on the biggest straightaway in this map, I don't know. Okay, it's a record. Yay, I actually had a good lap. One more to go here. Now, I don't know how many races there are for the league like this. I'm hoping it does unlock a car. I know that I used to have everything unlocked when I was younger. Um, 
This does not seem to be a very good racing game, to be entirely honest. There are much better games that I should be playing. Oh, yeah, see, there's a shortcut back there. That's where he must have went. See, there's the trail. You can see the dirt road, and it comes back up here. But again, why would I take that when I have this nice, long straightaway? And the opponent cars are doing pretty slow, and here's the finish line. Woohoo! And the car spins automatically. Yay! I'm on the league table. Round two. I wonder how many rounds there are. I think there's only like six races in the game. Oh, look at all the snow. Oh, look at this. Two gray cars, two red cars. Oh, God. Already pushing me off the road. What is this? Sumo racing? God, the popping is so bad. So bad. And no, I don't know any of these tracks. I haven't played this since 97 or so. Probably a little bit after 90s. Oh, hello. Slow down. Well, it's snow and ice. It's slippery. Oh, there's someone way off road there. Which, oh, I've rolled it. Can I get, there we go. Automatically comes back. Oh, there's a horn too, isn't there? Yay, I have a horn. We're jamming now. Man. Oh, they're just beating me up. Look at that. They're just trying to knock me right off the road. Oh, come on. You guys are evil bastards. Oh, man. I better be able to get back on from here. I think I'm SOL now. Can I get back in? Oh, no. That was bad. I'm losing. These controls, I mean, I don't even want... Oh, hey, there is actual car damage. Look at that. My V8 thing is ripping up. And they slow down to let me go past. That's just... Thanks, guys. I mean, really, I appreciate it. I mean, even the handling of it isn't particularly amazing. It's... Oh, he's going off the side of the road. Probably the better path to take, to be entirely honest. Given that this section is, you know, that really tight turn you got to basically stop for. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that looked like a better shortcut. I'll have to try to take that next lap. Um, I'm not really sliding like I'd expect to on ice. It's just delaying the controls. Oh, there we go. That was sliding. So, yeah, the ice does make it... Oh, quit ramming into me, damn it. So, yeah, the ice makes a difference. Ah, and you can just go across the train tracks there. It's a record! It's a record! Get off me! Get off me! Now, where is that upcoming shortcut? You do have to hit all these shortcuts. Here, here, here. No, not quite. No, I missed it. Dang it. Oh, everybody else took the... the no, one person took it. Okay. Ah, ah, stay on the road. Don't flip. Don't flip. Ooh, look at that guy just barreling across. Oh, where am I? Ah, ah, don't go off the road. Oh, I'm not the only one who spun out. Must win this race. No, I ain't winning this one. Oh, wait! Yes, I am! Ha-ha! <laughs> right at the end! Victory! Ah, morning songs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The popping. The popping is real. The popping is very real. Oh, more snow. Yay. Oh, man. Just the bumper cars at the beginning. It's so bad. And these controls, just, they're so loose. So sloppy. I can't believe I actually enjoyed this game. What the heck? This is pretty awful. I'm going to be honest. And I've played all... Maybe it's because of the other racing games I was playing at the time. I mean, this probably had to compare in my mind with uh, Carmageddon for controls. And if you've ever played Carmageddon, as fun as that game is, the controls are god-awful. I mean, in that game, it is just terrible. Terrible controls. Everything is so laggy. 
Oh, where'd you come from? It took a shortcut out of nowhere. Out of the way, out of the way. I will, of course, do the... Oh, come on, stay on the road. Don't flip over. Make them flip over. Oh, what'd you just... Oh, he wrecked me into the sign. Bastard. So you, I guess you could take a shortcut there, but... Ugh, I'm way behind now. Yeah, okay, so it does list miles per hour, and you can't switch that to kilometers per hour, so... I don't know if a European version was the other way either. This is pretty awful. And remember, this is the maximum view distance. So this popping, this is as good as it gets. Quit knocking me around. Ugh. Just ugh. Yeah, we're jamming now. We're in third place, but that must be amazing. And there he goes off the road. I think that's one of the features of this game, and I use features loosely, was, oh, you can take shortcuts. How is he still ahead of me? Oh, my God, that shortcut really, really helped him out. Fortunately, the rubber banding is real, so the game wants you to win. Clearly. Ah, see, he's taking the shortcut this time, too. Yeah, the shortcut didn't really help very much. Out of the way! Out of the way! No, I must win this. I want to unlock a car. No, no, no. Slip down the road. Stay on the road. Oh, you bastard. Thank God that wasn't the last lap. Can you imagine how terrible that would have been? Knocked me into the side of the tire there. Oh, there goes the red car off the shortcut. Back on the road. Back on the road. Oh, rubber banding. Save me, please. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why am I following the red car? I don't know where I'm going. I hope he does. I hope you know where you're going, man. Because I don't. Okay, I think that actually helped me. Yay, thank you, red car. Oh, ow. Thanks for the speed boost. Don't don't roll over. Don't roll over. Don't roll over. I rolled over. Dang it. Checkpoint. Oh, I'm getting some lag now. I don't think I'm going to win this one. I don't think I can win this one at this point. Everyone's off road. Get on. Get out of my way. Out of my way. Out of my way. Oh, get on the checkpoint. Almost missed it. Almost missed it. Can I get to the checkpoint in time? Oh, no. They're going to block the road. Oh, well. Third place. Oh, shoot. There's another lap. What? But that was the fourth lap. Oh, my God. I'll read your comments in a little bit. <laughs> Morning songs. I swear. But I gotta focus on driving. Oh, God. I'm also kind of glad that it's not playing the Gravity Kills songs right now. Oh, I guess I'm going this way. I guess I'm going this way. Jamming? I got lost in the third place because of that shortcut. Boo! Ah, uh, checkpoint, checkpoint. Why'd I have to do two checkpoints right next to each other? Well, no shortcut this time. Just get out of my way, out of my way. 
Bastard, you're blocking for your friend. Don't do that. I want to win. And it's slippery. I'm sliding around. I've lost all control. Here we go. It's back. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. No. 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 Stop it. Stop it. No. It's the last straightaway. Stop it. Ah, second place will have to do. You've played racing games where rubber banding was so bad that you essentially won by timing the oscillation of you and the first place computer rather than actually going fast. Yeah, I've seen those too. This is almost one of those. Mm. Ugh. Oh, you can actually manually adjust the rubber banding in that game in the I I I and I. Interesting. Hey, well, at least I'm still in the lead. Oh my God, how many how many cars are there in this? How many races? Okay, we're back on dirt instead of... And right off the bat, it's bumper cars, again. But at least we're on dirt instead of snow and ice, so it should be have a little bit better control. Oh, this is one that's got all kinds of shortcuts, though. Oh, the rubber banding. I, I do not like this game. <laughs> oh, man. This CD is much more valuable to me as, as, as an audio CD at this point. So I can listen to those sweet... Jeez, look at that! See what I mean about the shortcuts? Get out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! No, no, I'm... S See there, now I'm sliding as if it were ice. What the heck? Oh, these physics! Oh, these graphics! Somebody thought this would be a good idea. They made sequels. And I know that at least the first sequel is worse than this, if you can believe it. Out of the way! I'm going off-road. Dang it! As soon as I get in the lead, I lose control of the car. Land Rovers suck, man. Woo. Ah, ah, no, no! 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 Oh! Hurry up. Yeah! Screw you! <laughs> Hurry up. You get down here and drive, you stupid announcer! Have you seen these guys? They're like serial killers with wheels! Oh, how come you didn't hit the tire, huh? Cheating computer? If I did that, I would have hit the tire. It would have stopped me. Get off my tail. Go away. I don't want you near me. I want you as far from me as... Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You'll miss the, sh the, miss the checkpoint. Look, I couldn't even back out. I kept hitting the tree next to me. Ah, I'm in last again. Oh my god, I lost control of the car. This is worse than the snow levels. Well, there he goes. Oh, come on! You blocked me! Black flag? Oh, I've got to make this lap. Got to make this a good lap. I need to keep my score up. Can't even hear the music going, but it is... Ah, no, no. Don't take the shortcut. No shortcut here. Now you can take the shortcut. Right? No. Next one. Where is that shortcut? Where is it? There it is. I missed it. I'll take the second one. Oh, yes, I'm in the lead. Can I keep the lead? Oh, no, 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 don't slide, don't slide, don't slide, don't slide. I slid. There goes my lead. No. No, 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 stay straight. No, no. Sliding around like it's on butter. Featuring a mascot cart game with famous serial killers. and You kind of love and hate the idea. 
Oh, that was bad. Okay, round five. I think there's only two more rounds. Jump Jet. This race is called Jump Jet. I don't like the sound of this. Oh, they're knocking into me already. Look at that crap. Just beginning of every match is bumper cars. And we're racing on top of airplanes. Amazing. No, no! Stop that! Uh, I bet there's a shortcut. Yup. Is this shortcut actually any shorter? Probably not. Five laps? Five laps? You're just gonna make more and more laps each race, huh? Ugh. Why? Why make them longer? You should make the game shorter so I don't have to play as much. Um, ouch. Okay, let's get back on the road. And I'm losing again. Yay! Ah! Unfortunately, because of how slidey the controls are, I can't really pass reliably. Because the physics is too slippery. And that's terrible in a racing game. You, you really can't maneuver your car well enough to... Well, get in the lead. This is all bumper cars and... Ugh. I mean, I, I like I like actual good physics in my racing games so that I can do tight maneuvers. You cannot do tight maneuvers in this. It's just not possible. And it's possibly because the engine just could not handle it. I mean, it's running kind of... It, it's kind of chugging here. So they make up for the fact that you can't do those types of maneuvers by having your car slide around too much. And letting you lose control every now and then because off road. And I'm, to be entirely honest, a lot of racing games of this era did that. They didn't really have the nice tight controls. Even the Need for Speed, especially that first one, it is so slippery, which is why I never really liked it. The second one was better, but okay. This track, at least, you can kind of even out. It's more of a circle than anything. I don't have to screw around with checkpoints. I mean, with shortcuts. As long as I pretty much stay close to the road and don't bounce off things like I just did, you can see down on the mini-map just how far ahead I am. And I'm off the road. Because the only way the game can balance it out right now is to have me fail. I'm sliding so much more. It's like the further ahead I get, the less control I have of my car. Checkpoint. See, there it goes. It jumped me sideways off the wing there. It, it, this is terrible. We will go through the various other options, though. Um, I think we're seeing all the races this way. I do want to try to unlock at least one car, which is why I do want to win this tournament here. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. See, look at that. Spun me around. Why would it spin me around there? In order to let him catch up. That's why it would spin me around there. I'm on a straightaway, and I spun. Out of the way. I wasn't even close to that. You see, I'm, I'm not even close to things I'm hitting. The hitbox in this is wider than the car. That's annoying also. Oi! And there, I come off the jump, and it knocks me around. So I should be winning this last lap. I should be so far ahead. Oh. Oh, and there it goes. Spun out again. I don't think I can recover from that. I'm going to be in second place now when I finish. There's no way not to. Let me control the damn car. Second place. Nothing I could do. Literally, nothing I could do. The game just 
ensured that I was sliding, 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 sliding. <sighs> Five laps. Please be the last race. I don't want to do this anymore. Mm. Oh, man. Okay, at least we're on gravel this time. No, no mud, no snow. Quit bouncing my car around. And it's pretty much an oval track, so... Nice long straightaway there. I gotta slow down for this turn, which the computer apparently doesn't. Or you're just gonna take the shortcut, which there's no way you could have taken that at speed, man. Stop running into me. Five more laps of this crap. Oh my god. This is awful. Ah! Oh my god, this game is terrible. Ah! No control. And if I'm going to get any decent length out of this, I'm pretty much going to... Ah, you see? Look at that. He bounced off the wall, went backwards into me. Why did I ever think this was a good game? We're jamming now. Why did anybody ever think this was a good game? Good lord. You know, this actually has decent reviews. I don't see it. It's a record! It's a record. Thank you, Mario. Checkpoint. Yeah, I saw the shortcut there. There was no way I could take that at speed, though. But someone just did! Monster Truck Madness, this isn't. That game had really loose physics as well, but made more sense given, you know, monster trucks. And the horn sounded better. I mean, listen to this. That is one anemic horn. Eep! Eep, eep, and there's even a delay. You press the button and it waits like half a second before it beeps. Like, press? Yeah, my finger is off the button by the time the horn actually goes off. Beep, beep. We're jamming now. Beep, beep, beep. That, that's what I've come to. I'm playing with the horn. Checkpoint. That's where I'm at. Amazing. I love you, game. Okay, well, I am... You can see I am Checkpoint. so far in the lead on this one. So it has rubber banding if they're in front of you, not so much if they're behind you. Other than maybe messing up your controls a little bit more. Checkpoint. You know, I'm wondering if that control lag for the horn is there for the driving as well, if that's why it feels so bad. I wonder if there's just actual lag throughout the entire game. Yay! I win! What'd I get? What'd I get? Yay! I have won the Land Rover League! Okay! Okay, it's gonna show me... Is that the Jeep again? I oh, the Jeep was the red one by default. Land Rover was gray. No, just video of... Oh, it's gonna be video of everything then, isn't it? And again, we got the gravity falls going... Or gravity kills going, which is why I have to kind of talk over it. To make sure I don't get automatically content flagged for... <gasps> You're using commercial music! No, I'm... I, well, I am, but it's music from the game. This is not my soundtrack. This is the game's. Let's watch the video. I mean, this is what we won. This is it. This is our prize, everybody. Yay! We get to see the tires on cars. Because it's clearly the most important part. We don't want to see the whole car, just the tires. Also, you know, here was, here was like the, um... Look at that pixelization. Just look at the compression on this old video. You can see now why the stuff in Realms of the Haunting looked this pixelized. Mind you, that had four discs and this has one, but it also had a lot more video. Just, ugh!
All right. You have earned a bonus car. Try racing in the 4x4 buggy. Thanks. I don't know what happened to the picture, though. I mean, you can see it on the stream. It looks completely all black all over the place. Yeah, this picture just didn't fully load. All right. Let's try a mixed league this time. Although that was it. I mean, you know, that that was that was the game. Uh, See, okay, so Land Rover, the Chevy Z71. it has the same stats, but it's got less acceleration. Why would I drive this car? Four by four buggy. There's what I just won. I won a hot. I won a Hot Wheels car. That looks awful. Hummer, Jeep Wrangler. Land Rover, the, Chevy the thing is, I would actually pick the Land Rover as the car because it has the most acceleration. Jeep Wrangler, Hummer, and you want acceleration Land Rover, Hummer, because you're going to be slowing down so much. Acceleration is the key to winning. Jeep, Land, so, well, let's... Oh, you can't change the color on the buggy either. It is this color and that is it. Well, let's try it. Mixed League, King of the Mountain Cup. Speed... Oh, it's not even available. Not available. Not available. Not available. Am I going to have to win? to get all of these cups. So I have to win the single league to get a car, and then the mixed league to unlock more mixed leagues. Well, whatever. Let's try King of the Mountain Cup, shall we? Oh, God, we're going to do these races again. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate me, game? And I love this. You've got the Humvee, you've got the truck, you've got the Jeep, and I'm taking the place of the... Land Rover, because I have the same stats as the Land Rover, because of course I do. Why would the bonus car have any different stats? My god, this thing is ugly. There's the Jeep, and the Jeep just knocked me off the road. Thank you, Jeep. Thank you. And I bet, it's, I bet no matter what car I picked, the opponents would have the other three. Stop sliding! Okay, this isn't the same as the other car. This car, oh my god, I can't control this one. It's even worse. Look at that! Just right off the road. Look at that crap. Look at how much this thing bounces! I'm trying to turn. I was trying to turn that entire time. My god, look at this! This thing is awful! Who? Who thought that? Yeah, man, I, I tested this game out. I played it. it Buggy works fine, totally fine, no problem. And I've been a game tester. I know how it goes. You know, you get, you get to the point where you just kind of get so used to the game and so good at the game that you don't see some of the flaws anymore. Oh, there we go. I guess I'm taking the shortcut. Didn't want to, but they forced me to. Get on the road, on the road, on the road. Oh my God, this car is the worst. This game is the worst. Ah, stay on the road. Look, even the Humvee doesn't want to go on that trail. Get out of the freaking way. <sighs> Same horn. This is awful. Why am I doing this? I mean, at this point, you've seen almost everything there is to see in this game. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, look at that! Blew right by them all! And I bet I'll screw it up up here. Yep. I turn one way, the car goes the other way, because it wouldn't be fair if I was able to go where I want to go. Look at... Did you see that 90 degree turn the truck just made? Perfect 90 degree turn. No sliding whatsoever. I can't even go straight without sliding sideways. Look at this. Look at this. Just bounce, 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 bounce. Look at that bouncing. What are my shocks made out of? Oh my god. This car doesn't even have suspension. It's like the tires are filled with helium. Why? Mm. Yeah, I like I like Crystal Pepsi more than the regular Pepsi. Yeah. I, I really do. Oh, look at that. I'm not even on the list anymore. Oh, God, there's going to be six more of these. Oh, my God, there's going to be six of these. This is it. Every mode in the game is going to be playing all six tracks in a different order, 
where it goes three laps, three laps, four laps, four laps, five laps, five laps. Oh dear God, what have I done? I have made a terrible life choice. Ah, uh, your better half doesn't like Crystal Pepsi, huh? That is a shame. Hey, look at this. There's actually two Humvees in this one. Ah, no, stay on the track. Stay on the track. Oh, I'm not getting any aftertaste from the Crystal Pepsi. But I do get more of an aftertaste from the other Pepsi, to be honest, from the regular Pepsi. Yeah, that, that's it. I'm going to talk about Crystal Pepsi now because this game is awful. <laughs> It's clear. You know, they, they promised clear cola, and it really is. It's even more clear than stuff like Sprite, really. It's quite a nice color to it. The flavor, it, it's very close to Pepsi, but it doesn't have the really just absolutely brutal killer sweet that Pepsi is. And that's not even the Pepsi throwback, just regular Pepsi. Why, car? Why would you do that? Oh, my God. Also, why are the Humvees camouflaged? Are they? Do they not want me to see them in the race? Does that make them go faster? I thought it was red that makes you go faster. That's why my other car was red. I got red on this car too. I should win every time. Out of the way! Out of the way! Don't play the buggy. This is just god awful. Don't play this game. This is just god awful. Ah, uh, Morning Song says he used to have Crystal Pepsi when he was a kid, but only once, because it was what too sweet for you. No, the only soda you could stand was Sprite. Oh, I, I can understand that honestly. I honestly used to be more of a Coke guy when I was younger. I'm totally Pepsi now, but I got to the point where I just couldn't stomach Coke anymore. I loved Crystal Pepsi when it was first out. I'm one of the people who was so happy to see it coming back. I fully supported L.A. Beast and Brad Jones, etc. for their efforts to bring it back. Oh, see now, I just went right through the tire. I've hit the side of the tire before, but now I was able to go through it. Why do you do this to me, game? Why am I playing this? I mean, in all honesty, it's half an hour into the game so far. You've seen everything! I guess I'll just try to beat the game at this point. I mean, I'll go through the other three cars, assuming I don't just want to gouge my eyes out after doing the, this. But I'll try to go through the other three cars to unlock the other vehicles. I think there might be some tracks. Oh, I think there's six tracks that unlock, and there's six of these. So these races might unlock the tracks. Which, uh, you know, there you go, there's a racing game for you. You have to play it a whole bunch to unlock something, then play it a whole bunch more to unlock something else, and then keep playing to unlock more things. I don't want to unlock everything! I don't want to play this! But I need to put something on the show for the next hour and a half. I don't want to just go, well, it's half an hour, this game's boring, bye! I should. This, oh man, this is awful. Oh, don't worry. I've got something equally bad for tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. You're going to love it. But it's a secret! At least until the end of this recording. Then I'll, then I'll let you know. Get on the road! On the road! Get all the Humvees out of the way, it looks like. Get on the road! Quit sliding. Get on the bloody road! You know what I have not run into yet, though? I have not seen a single Land Rover again. I am never driving this buggy again. This is terrible. Oh, God. I would have to see what other racing games were available in 97. I think Gran Turismo was out by now, and if that's the case, I don't know why I would ever have played this. When did the first Gran Turismo come out? I should look at it. Stop sliding. No, don't go backwards, car. Ah! 
Why? Out of the way. I'm using my horn. That means move. 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 No, don't get in the way. Move. That's what the horn means, right? If you use your horn in the race, the other guys have to get out of your way. The first Need for Speed was out by now. Yeah, I've already recorded that one. Um, I'd have to double check. I do have when the second one was, re was released written down. And I think it might have been out by now. In fact, I know it was out by now because the third Need for Speed came out in 98. I know this because that's when I picked up the trilogy was 98. So this is 97. Need for Speed 2 was definitely out by now. And it was a better game than this. It's got issues, too. Oh, we'll see. It's got some bad issues. But it's better than this. Holy crap. And I th don't... Ah! Curse you! Actually, come to think of it, I had Need for Speed... 2 and 3, well, 1, 2, and 3, but I never really played 1. I like 2 and 3 better. They handled oh, yeah. better. Those... I had those before I had a PlayStation. I had those before I had this game. I bought this after I had been playing Need for Speed. Because I think I bought this in 99 or maybe even 2000. Get out of the way! Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Out of the way. No. Man, this buggy handles so badly. I didn't expect it to be this bad. I never asked for this. Ah, ah. You know, this is the track that I was just destroying previously, wasn't it? Yeah, because it's the circle, basically. Oh my god! I didn't even turn that direction! The game just decided, nope, you're going left now. Nats nah, decided you're going right now. Oh, I want to flip my table. This game has reached table flip levels of frustration. I'm gonna come in last! We're jamming now! We're jamming now! You're in third place, you idiot! That ain't j Okay, I'm done. Quit. Yes, we're, we're done with that. I'm not playing any more of the buggy. You are terrible! I hate you! I hate you! Fortunately, there is no buggy league. There's only the four leagues. I've done Land Rover. Let's go with the Humvee League and see what happens. Let's just go through Rider these and earn the cars. Up or down arrow to choose color scheme. Hummer. Oh. You know what? Since two of the tracks are winter and they're the ones I hate the most, let's use the winter camouflage. Oh. Got commercial music going. Racers, get ready. On your marks, go. What happened to get set? What happened to get set? I was trying to drink my Pepsi, and it's on your marks. Oh, good. I've got time. Go! Wait, what? No! Okay, right off the bat, this car handles better. That buggy was crap. Would probably be why this is the default car to choose. And I'm already sliding around. Though this car seems, I, I don't know, heavier. Which, you know, it would be than a buggy. Has the same problem on that corner, though. Just could not stop in time. Yeah, this one isn't isn't bouncing me around quite so randomly. 
I bet the Jeep's going to be the worst of the big four, the main four. I mean, at this point, I really don't know what else to say about this game. Although, the, the vehicles do behave differently. I will give them that. Like I said, that buggy was just the worst. Just the worst. Notice the way the wheels are wiggling back and forth in the front, too. That That's great. But... No, okay, I'm actually much happier with the handling of this car right now. So yeah, there, it makes a difference. What car you choose matters. And unfortunately, this game doesn't have, like, Need for Speed had that nice showcase. So you, oh wow, it's over already. Had that, you know, showcase which gave you a little bit of info on the car and all that. This, I wish it, I wish it had that. I'd like to learn, you know, a little bit more history of the Humvee. Definitely tracks in different order also, because if you remember the um, Land Rover, it went straight to two snow tracks. So, I wonder if the order is random or what. Oh, I hope the snow tracks aren't the last ones on here, because that's just what I want, is to spend more time on the snow. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. You don't deserve to be here. So get out of my way. Get out. Don't you dare. Don't you dare pit me. Oh, you guys are tricky. You tried knocking me into a tree. Oh, see, I don't know what those arrows mean. I think that means that there's a car coming up on your side. That's got to be it. It's a record! Now, how did my car, like, stick to the ground there? I didn't catch air off that jump. I just went straight down the other side. That was weird. Checkpoint. How are you sliding around and not losing any speed? I mean, the computer was so almost sideways to me. Just, yeah, no problem. I'm cruising fine. Nothing can stop me. I'm a computer. Stop all the download. One more lap. Oh, this is just the worst. Well, I, I will say, I'm happier playing it with a Humvee. As you can tell, I'm not yelling at how bad my car is doing now. But, ugh. So, I'm, I'm hoping that all of the unlockable cars aren't as bad as the buggy, in which case, why? Why would you want to unlock cars that hurt you? Because I'm never using that buggy again. I think it's awful. Stop bouncing. Yeah, there, now I'm complaining about it, see? But even then, I was so far ahead. Boom. No problems. Uh-oh. It is saving the snow for the last. Oh, you bastards. Did I hit the checkpoint back there? Yes, I did. Okay. I couldn't tell. I mean, it's entirely possible that the game would nope the checkpoint if I didn't hit it just right. And it didn't tell me I hit it, so... Okay, get out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. No, don't get in front of me. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. You see that? He is actively trying to block you. And, you know, he hits you... You go flying. He doesn't move, but you go flying. Checkpoint. So the AI is BS in this. Now. 
but at least they're not, you know, just solid, we're on the racing line no matter what AI. I've seen that in too many games also. Well, like Need for Speed. The cars in that will take the racing line no matter what. You cannot deviate them from it. Here, well, they're not really making many mistakes, but... I would like to see them crash into the trees now and then, like they force us into. I would love to swing by and see the AI car upside down. So if you had to wait significantly longer before we started getting racing games that did that. And if you want to know what I currently think as of my favorite racing games, um, I like Grid. I mean, I love the Gran Turismo series, and of the Gran Turismo series, 3 is by far my favorite. But I played Grid recently, and not Grid 2. I don't like Grid 2 as much. But the original Grid was just all kinds of fun. It was everything I want in a racing game. It was beautiful. And I'm upside down. So I would highly recommend checking out Grid if you love racing games. Stay on the road! And I would highly recommend avoiding this game like the plague if you like racing games. Because this is just rage inducing. Yay! Victory! Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I can tell what you see about the aftertaste with these, with the Crystal Pepsi, but... No, I, I really like this flavor. Oh, God, here they... And look at this, there's three cars with my paint job. How do I know who's me? Like, the guy over there could be me. I don't know that. Get back here, me. Stop running away. Ah! Now this is only four laps in this crap, but ugh. Oh, this is the worst one too. This is the worst track. I hate this track the most. I just want this one over with. And I actually could display the opponent's names if I wanted to. It's one of the options. But nah, I just want the cars. Everyone blows past me. We're jamming now. Checkpoint. Yes, we're jamming now. We're in last place, but we're jamming now. And again, you know... They just, you can't knock the computer around. The computer can knock you silly, but you can't do anything to them. So he's blocking me. I can't get around him because he, he'll get in front of me if I try. And the game's not precise enough for me to just swing around and go. I would lose control of the car doing that. So I have to sneak over to one side to try to get past him. And when you do that, well, he does the same thing to you. Oh, come on, it's awful. And there he goes, and... No, don't run into him! Get past him, damn it! Bad game, bad, no cookie for you. Get on the road, on the road, don't slide past it, thank you. But the enemies are right behind me again. The enemy. My opponents. We're jamming now. Ah! We're 
jamming now. Again, I'll read your message when I'm finished with the race here. I gotta focus on driving. This driving games are one game where I can't really split my attention. Even first person shooters, I can glance over and read. But I've never been able to do that with the driving games. Especially ones this sloppy. Cause Ugh. You'd think that a sloppy game like this would be more forgiving of mistakes, but it's really not. It ends up almost being worse. Okay, I'm on a straightaway now. Let's see. Uh, you're steering far clear of this. I don't blame you. And there exists driving games where you don't race, like Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah, I have that one too. I haven't really done much with it, but... Hmm. I'm more of a racing fan, what can I say? I don't mind other types of driving games. It's, it's more about the physics for me. Ah! Oh, come on! I am... I am completely stuck. I am completely stuck. I'm bouncing around trying to drive backwards. Look at that. I'm not, I'm not even hitting this thing, and it's bouncing me around. I can't go forward. I can't... There we go. Finally. Well, that, that's this game over. This lap's over, and that was the last lap that that happened on. Wow. Great physics. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Get moving. And rubber banding. Thank you. Thank you. And I flipped again. This game is awful. I hate it. Checkpoint. This might be the worst racing game I've ever played. Actually, it's not, because like I said, the sequel is even worse than this. If I can manage to get that one to install and run one of these days, oh, I will. Trust me. I will. No, no. Get out of the way so I can get... Oh, my God. Fuck you, car. Fuck you, guys. All because I got stuck. Literally. You have failed to qualify for the next round. I'm speechless. Are you... It's a point-based game. The other cars had point values. They didn't get knocked out just because they didn't come in first or second. I had the most points still. You cannot have qualifying and point-based in the same fucking game. Mmm. I'm glad you guys don't have a camera right now. I am flipping my screen off. That is some bullshit. That is some massive bullshit right there. Well, screw that. I'm going to see if there's anything else on practice races. I'll try out the other cars. But that's going to be basically it now. Blue. Since it's the only car I can have blue. Let's see. Uh, preferred racing... There's a reason that, like, as far as I can tell, games where you drive a thing that you don't need to go fast are a recent thing, not a huge audience. Um, I'm trying to think of examples, counterexamples of that. I mean, let's be honest, most games are competition, and racing is the most obvious thing you can do with the games. There's also combat, vehicle combat, stuff like Carmageddon, or... My mind just went blank. Interstate 76. That's another one I tried to show you guys, but it really doesn't run on modern systems. It'll install. It won't use the hardware acceleration properly at all. 
and because of the way something in it was programmed, for example, the flamethrowers in the game are based on your CPU speed, and it really glitches out unless you use a program that reduces your... Okay, so there are more tracks. One, two, three, four... Five. Okay, there are six extra tracks. So only half the game is unlocked at the beginning. You get four cars, four that you have to unlock. You get six cars and six you have to unlock. Which apparently I have not unlocked. Snow, snow, dirt, desert, desert, dirt. But I can't pick these because they're not unlocked, so... Ugh. Screw it. Ridge Runner it is. One lap. I'm not doing extra laps. I'm just testing this... Well, two laps. Just testing the car out. Racers, get ready. But yeah, um... Go. I desperately wanted to show you guys Interstate 76, but... It just doesn't want to run properly on modern computers. And I'm upside down already. Amazing. And even beyond not wanting to run on po proper computers, you can kind of trick it to run by lowering your CPU, by throttling your computer. But if I did that, I wouldn't be able to record it. Because my CPU would be throttled back too far. So, unfortunately, I really wanted to show that one. If you guys can ever manage to find a way to get that to run properly for you, because even even the throttling didn't want the game to run right for me. Interstate 76 is available on GOG. There are, are people who will try to help you get it set up. I t completely recommend that game. It is a blast. We're jamming now. I just unfortunately am not able to stream that one at this time. Then there's other there's other vehicle combat stuff, uh, Vigilante Seven, Checkpoint. which is actually kind of based on the, the game I was talking about. Words. Okay, the Jeep here not too terrible. It's supposed to be fast. Dan, yeah, that was my fault. I was testing the controls. It just kind of drove to the side. Well, it's the thing. Yeah, it is on Gog. Technically runs. It just doesn't run well, and it's got issues that GOG really can't fix. Is the problem? And it's not a DOS game either, so it's not like you can run DOSBox to make it work, and just adjust the settings in DOSBox for DOSBox for it. Otherwise, I would have. But it's not a DOS game. Well, let's go with green this time. Nice average vehicle. I will do four laps here. We'll see how well this works. Oh, yay! We're all the same truck now. Oh, but I've got a racing stripe. And as you know, racing stripes make you go faster. Actually, there are cheat codes. I will look them up so we can try the other cars and other tracks. Show them off. But at this point, yeah... I would recommend people away from this game. The only redeeming value this game has at this point is the soundtrack. And if you want to listen to Gravity Kills, get a Gravity Kills CD. You get more songs that way anyway. You only get three here. Which means unless you can buy this game for $3 for the disc, you're better off with iTunes. Stay on the track. And this car is a bit slippery. Woohoo! You see me riding the wall there. Wow. Checkpoint. Also don't I also don't know why this one's decided it needs to have giant tires. Checkpoint. I mean all the other cars, tires were appropriate, but no. This one's been jacked up. You know, jacked off the ground, large tires, because of course it has. Because why else would you use this truck? Maybe Chevy knows their truck isn't good enough without it. Oh. 
We're jamming now. All right. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm up on a road up here. I guess I'm not anymore. And we got some instrumental gravity kills going on there. I guess that might be worth it if you really, really want to have a gravity kill song without the mute, without the words. Checkpoint. Yeah. Man, just... Running out of things to say. This game's awful. Checkpoint. Um, I could talk more about Interstate. There was a sequel to Interstate 76. I mean, the one on GOG is the Arsenal pack. The uh, has the Nitro pack as well, which let you drive different cars for a little bit different campaign modes. The story for Interstate 76 is a lot of fun. It also was one of the early ones to use Smacker files. Like, I, I could praise Interstate 76 up one side, down the other. They did a lot of good stylized stuff with it. The game's just all kinds of fun. Then they made a sequel, Interstate 82, which I also have and never did run properly for me. Even at the time, it had this weird thing where every few seconds it would hang up for a little bit. I mean, it would run perfectly smoothly when it wasn't hitching every couple seconds. And different computers did this too. And I even wrote to them about this, like, look, this is going on. They never had any fucking clue what I was talking about. I do not know why that game did that. Okay. Now it's time to go look up the cheat codes because I am not going through those legitimately anymore. Yeah, intermittent hangs. And on a racing game. A driving game. It, it kills it. You can't do anything. There's just like... Ah! You lose control of the car, and it's a combat game too, so you're constantly getting shot at. Alright, cheat codes. Let's do this. Enter name. Can I enter my name? There we go. Right or left arrow to choose vehicle. Upper. No, that did not unlock the tracks. Huh. And it's two-player split screen, and as you can see, you can't actually do a league with that. Lap records. Okay, practice league. Right or left Player one, all vehicle. track. That didn't do anything. Arrow to choose color scheme. Chevy Z71. Oh, let's try doing this then. Right or left. Jeep, left Chevy, Hummer. Jeep, left Chevy, Hummer. Jeep, left Chevy, Hummer. Jeep, left Chevy, Hummer. Jeep, left Chevy. Well, wait a second. Are you kidding? The cars you unlock are locked to your name. So... Okay, I have my name there. If I choose a different name, like, well, let's just say... Beefy, try to unlock the monster truck, right? Not only is the monster truck not here, but the car that I unlocked, the buggy, isn't here anymore. Okay, is this the, uh... No, that's PlayStation version. Maybe there's different codes for PC. Let's find out. Test drive off-road. Cheats. Yeah, okay, they have different codes, so that was a problem there. Um... Right or 
Rider left arrow. Okay, that unlocked the cars. So, you get a hot rod. That looks freaking awful. Look at that thing. And that's obviously what you get for using the uh, Chevy Z71. There's your reward car. That is the worst. I mean, look, the, the amount of detail on this is terrible. Four by four monster truck. You figured this would be the one for doing the Chevy, but no, no. This is the Humvee car. That looks pretty bad, too. I mean, look at the... Okay, compare the detail. Here's your Chevy Z71 car. You can, and even the truck bed has some detail in it. Monster truck. Here's the monster truck. It's smaller and lower poly count. Why? Stock Look at the car. stock car. These are god awful. Chevy Z Cheat 2. Unlock right the bonus right. tracks. Um, oh, let's let's check out Cheat 3. Secret FMV sequence. I think this is the one you got for beating the game. Oop, just dropped my bottle cap on the floor. Here's that gravity kills, which I have to talk over, otherwise YouTube will automatically content ID, and they might content ID me anyway because it's gravity kills! But yeah, we've already seen this video, I think. Pretty sure this is the one we will... No, because this is all about the Humvee. So this must be what happens when you win with the Humvee. Um, there's two other... Well, there's actually several more cheat codes. Super fast, super fast, flips and spins in the air, which, you know, I'm not going to use that one. There's a no-clipping mode. Good God, that sounds like an awful idea in this game, so I won't be doing that. But there is one that supposedly just maximizes your handling, acceleration, and top speed. Which, I will try that one out. We've got the other tracks unlocked now, so we'll do that. I, I want to finish watching all these videos, too. This is clearly the You Won With The Hummer video. Because they get to see a Hummer driving around. At least we're not focused on the tires this time. They actually know that it's the car we want to see. Whereas the Land Rover was just... Oh, no! Here we go. Now it's going to show us the Jeep one. Okay, so this is just going to show all four of the videos. You know what? Great. Let's watch all four of the videos, and I can talk over them because of the music. But yeah, why is it so choppy, too? Look at that. That's the video itself that's choppy. It's not the game being choppy, because we've seen the other videos work just fine. Yes, focus on the barn. Why? This is so bad. Chop, 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 chop. Maybe, maybe it is my computer that's doing it. Maybe it's DOSBox that just doesn't want to run the video that smoothly. Maybe, were the other ones this choppy? I didn't think they were. Zoom way out, because nobody wants to see the car. This is a video showcasing the car, but no, no, don't look at the car. Look at the snow, look at the building, look at the trees, don't look at the car. Oh, these guys. Well, there, at least at the end, it shows... And go straight to the next one. There's the one we've seen. That was the uh, Land Rover video. So they actually do at least give you a victory video for each of the cars. Again, we get to see the tires. Because, you know, if you're looking at a Land Rover, all you care about are the tires. By far the most important part of the car. Why? Who shot this? Who the hell... Look at that! Tire fetish! Oh god, I love round things! Oh! Let's <laughs> just show us the car! We're playing this for the car! I mean, what is this, Rubber? Have you seen that movie, by the way? Rubber? It's about a killer tire. Like an actual rubber tire. It is... It is a great movie. It's fucked up. It's weird. It's meta. It's hilarious. Rubber, look it up. It was on Netflix. I don't know if it still is. And here we go with the last one. Here's the Chevy. And they at least chose a different song for this one, but... Yes, that movie was amazing. Good. Morning Songs has seen Rubber. And again, don't look at the car. Just look at that front grille. That's all you need to see. The rest of the car is completely irrelevant. 
Oh, yeah, just just look at those headlights. Look at that Chevy symbol. Then again, it is just... And notice, the truck in their video isn't jacked up like the one in the game. It's got normal tires. It's got normal suspension. It's not riding 12 feet off the fucking ground. The truck in the game is more of a monster truck than the freaking monster truck. Oh, the bonus stuff is totally not worth unlocking. You've seen how absolutely hideously modeled those cars are. That, that hot rod is... It's like they tried to model a... Oh, wow, that was a short video, too. Like, no, nope, no, nope. we don't really care about the truck. That's it, you're done. That's all you needed to see. <laughs> Probably didn't have the budget to get a modded truck. Yeah, I can believe that. Okay. Let's try Cheat 5. Let's actually try this... No, I want to try the ugly car. Again, no color choices. Because repainting the red to a different color would have been too hard. Um, we should have all the tracks unlocked now. Yes. Yes, we do. Oh. My. God. No. No, no, no. No. Okay, good. That one is at least different. But these others looked like they were just... It is. It's going to be just an inverse of the other track. Why, game? Why? Why is your unlock track just reverses? Alright, well, let's try it. We're only going to do three laps for each of these, but we're going to do all of these extra tracks. We're going to watch those videos also. On your marks. At this point, I'm just going to showcase the, the cheats and be done. Now, again, I'm using the cheat right now that is supposed to make my car faster, more acceleration, better handling, and as you can see, it clearly ain't doing crap. So this cheat was a lie, which I'm not surprised by at all. Oh my god, this is awful. Checkpoint. Well, this has officially become one of the worst games I've played on this show. Ah, stay on the road. Same horn, and did you notice the lag? There was actually some hitching before the horn sounded. Checkpoint. The game had to load the horn! We're jamming now. It's a record. Oh, yeah, this is awful. We're jamming now. Yeah, so freaking lazy. That sums this game up in a nutshell. If there was one word to describe this game, it would be lazy. Checkpoint. We're jamming now. So you're all for on-demand loading assets, but yeah, the horn. It had to load the horn in during the game. You can see this really is the reverse of the other track because the little arrows at the side of the road to tell you what direction to turn are going the wrong way. We're jamming now. Let me see if I can show you those again. Just on the popping, the distance. Oh, oh ooh, ooh. I should do that. I should totally do that. Look at this. And this car is sliding around on... Um, it, it, we're on pavement. We're on asphalt right now. Well, uh, maybe gravel. But I'm still sliding around like crazy. Alright, let's 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 see. The arrows should be coming up. I think they were reversed. This looked off to me. Checkpoint. Yeah, see, there's ones on the left there. It looked wrong. I don't know. Ah, okay, Morning Song has apparently been working on a game for that. Um, he's been trying to figure out how to load an asset when he loads the character so that there's not a lag every time you try to use the asset. Yeah. Um, 
All right, I can do the videos next. But that was supposed to be a cheat to activate maximum stats, and it did not work. Okay, so we'll go back to this. Practice race. Let's watch some videos here. Right or left arrow to choose. Right or nope, left arrow. nope, that doesn't work. So... Okay, wait, maybe I have to do this the other way. Options. Driver setup. There's no option there to enter the name. So whoever did this part of the cheat... Yeah, this isn't working. So video B, right nope, that didn't arrow. do anything. Video 1. Video A, right no space. Arrow. Video B, nope. Right okay, so the videos... Arrow. Video cheats don't work. So... Right or left whatever. Or Let's try these right last two cars. Car. Oh god, we're gonna try these last few tracks. And again, you know, here it is. It's the track and you're just reversing it. That's a bonus track, reversing the track. Also, don't you love oh, let me go back to that. Let me go back and show you that again. Where was that? Back up. There. Notice that the checkpoint marker is currently levitating above the ground. And as you drive closer, it lowers to the ground. They could not even line that up. Just awful. Oh. Man, I did unlock all of this stuff when I was a kid. Or actually, I guess I wasn't a kid by that time, but... When I was younger, when I played this before, I had actually unlocked everything. All of the gra all the cars, all the tracks, I did all those extra races. I can't imagine why. After the first one, I should have been so disappointed that I wouldn't bother anymore. Because this car is not very good. The buggy wasn't very good. That hot rod was terrible. These tracks are just reverses. It's unbelievable. And I can't imagine that I did not have better games at this time. Oh, I've always been a fan of terrible things. I watch bad movies for fun. I'm the kind of guy that Mystery Science Theater 3000 was made for. And if you've seen the if you've seen the channel, you watched. I played Descent to Undermountain. I've played um, Daikatana, which everyone everyone that's the one that everyone's like, oh my god, why would you play that? Believe me, I've played worse games than Daikatana. Excalibur 2055 AD was gloriously bad. I mean, that, that game is a special level of terrible. Which, honestly, this game's getting there. But the unlocks just aren't worth it. I mean, congratulations, you've unlocked a stock car. Realistically, this thing should not be going anywhere in this environment. I mean, this car should be absolute trash right now. It should be gummed up entirely. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. <laughs> you watch a um, weekly podcast or a weekly webcast that shows... <laughs> A set of thematically bad TV shows and ends with a bad movie. Yeah, that 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 sounds like something I would watch. Said I just play bad video games like this one. Okay, we've got what four more tracks and one more car to test out. So let's do this. Let's showcase the entirety of this game, so that anybody who's watching 
has no reason ever to play this game. You're going to see what all the tracks look like. You're going to see all the cars. You've seen the ending videos. You know what? This is probably why that other truck had the jacked up suspension kit. Because if you look at the tires in this, it's the exact same lower body model. They just put a much worse body on the car for this and called it a monster truck. Then again, I think the hot rod has the same body kit to it. Or suspension and all that. Look at this. It's impossible to control this. God, this is crap. I love the floating cars we had there, too, just now. And just look at this popping! This is the maximum settings, and it's popping like crazy. And I can't... I cannot access the options in the middle of the game. Whoops, I just quit out. Well, before I go back into it, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did that. You saw what I just did. Here is your minimum graphics settings. It is choppier here than it was with the settings maxed out. Look at how much choppier this game is! Turning down the settings is making the game work harder to pop in the environment. This is amazing! Oh, it is having so much trouble popping in this environment. Also, I missed a checkpoint somewhere. Uh, it could be low, yeah, it could just be bad jitter instead of a low frame rate. But... No, it... it... This is bad. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, no, that's gonna give someone a headache. <laughs> Let's never do that again. Right or left arrow to two. All right, let's actually finish the lap of these next few. We'll be done with it. But yeah, you see the car next to me. You see the truck next to me. That's why. That is why that truck has this kind of suspension kit. It's because of the monster truck. They probably modeled this thing first. No, I doubt they modeled this first. This is, well, with how low res it is, yeah, maybe they did. And then they got better modeler who did the other ones. I don't know. But this is just awful. Even this track really isn't... None of the tracks have been very entertaining, to be entirely honest. Hey, look! One of the computer cars actually spun out! So what I was talking earlier about how they don't really make mistakes, I was wrong. Then again, I guess I'd seen one spin out before, too. But it's not really impacted by the mistake, because there he is, right behind me again. He's the one that spun out. And he just hit the barrier back there. Awesome. Oh, man. If you had a chance, if someone gave you this game for free, probably take it for the music. But... <laughs> and all the cars spinning around at the end. Oh, that looks so terrible.
All right, let's switch to. This is the only even remotely worth driving car. Few more tracks. See the rest of them. Oh God, I, I, yeah, this looks like it's one of the others backwards. No, it's modified. Yeah, this actually does look like one of the other tracks, again, backwards, but with a little bit of modification to it. Which, that dirt road that had the hourglass that we were just on... Well, remember, there was another of the dirt tracks where you saw another track that was blocked off. So, they probably did that, modeled them on the same area, actually let you have the other... Let you see that, yeah, there's another path here. Which, I don't mind that. I mean, other games do that, too. That was a pretty basic little loop of a track. Right or left Jeep Wrangler. Two more tracks to check out. Snow track. Oh, I, I, I and what's up with What is up with all the snow kicking off of it? I got to tell you, if you are kicking up that much snow, when your tires are spinning, you're not going anywhere. You have just dug giant pits underneath your tire. You are stuck. So that, and then of course all the cars were sitting on the line, fully revved up, spinning their tires like crazy. Yeah, this is another track in reverse. It is literally just another track in reverse. And it wasn't even a good track to begin with. Oh. There's that one. One more, one more race, one more lap. I'm only even doing one lap anymore, because I just don't care. Oh, crap. It's going to be another one in reverse, too. Nope, nope. You know what? No. I'm not. I'm not. Now I'll do it. Yep. See? Hey, look. It's another track. That's a track in reverse. Because that is so worth unlocking. You know, most games... Well, some games, the good games, if they're going to do a reverse mode, would just unlock a reverse mode, and that way you could do any of the tracks in reverse without having to unlock them individually. It's like this game punishes you for playing it. Yay! You've just completed this circuit! Here's a car that's no good. Here's a track that you don't like, but now it's backwards. That makes it different. That makes it better, right? 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 No. No. It doesn't. It makes it awful. It makes it painful. It makes me sad I play this game. Why do you hate me, game? I just wanted to love you. I just wanted to play. I just wanted to race. Okay. There's the final straightaway coming up. And I'll... <laughs> to be fair, playing this game already looks like punishment. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, you've seen everything there is to see in this game. You saw the videos. You listened to some of the music. You saw the tracks. You saw the tracks that you can unlock. You saw the cars that you can unlock. You saw going through one of the tournaments. You saw what happens when you fail one of the tournaments, even though it's a freaking point-based system, if you dare come in third. And that's another thing. Only, you know, four players. If you dare come in third. 
Oh, heaven help you. That's it. You're done. You're done. Doesn't matter if the other cars can still come in third and be part of the race because... Well, I mean, it's a tournament. It's a point-based tournament. They come in third, that just means they'll have to try harder. No, no, no. You come in third, that's it. You have failed to qualify, you are out of the tournament. Get out. We're kicking you out right now. Oh, that is terrible. Everything about this game, other than the soundtrack, Gravity Kills, is awful. Avoid this game at all costs. It just is not worth playing. It the controls are bad, the graphics are bad, the engine is bad, the rewards are bad, the music is amazing, but just buy a Gravity Kills CD or the individual songs. Again, guilty, blame, enough. That's it. Those are your three Gravity Kills songs that you get on this. You can get those for probably three bucks on iTunes or Amazon. So, this game, bad. Avoid it. Crystal Pepsi, good. Drink some. Try it. Hopefully enough people buy it that it'll stick around for a little while longer this time. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, I have to make noise when I'm drinking even because I got the Gravity Kill soundtrack going. So tomorrow, I said I was going to play another bad game tomorrow, and oh boy howdy. I will be playing World War II GI. Now, if you don't know what that game is, it is a build engine game based in World War II done by the same people um I think it's TNT team not to be confused with team TNT which did a bunch of doom mapping made by TNT team who also did NOM which is another build engine game I won't be running NOM on the show because I ran it before I started doing the show not too terribly long beforehand so it's already kind of fresh in my mind still but with this game coming up, it is a build engine game, and it was released fairly late in the build engine cycle. I say it's a bad game, and you'll see why. Because it is punishing. Absolutely punishing. We will be going back to save scumming, because that is literally the only way to beat this game. Because, like its predecessor Nom, it is meant to be completely unfair. You are going to die constantly. It is a meat grinder of a game. But I'm looking forward to trying it out, because as many problems as NOM had as a game, and it did, it had several, it's more of a total conversion than an actual commercial game. They did a lot of things really well and utilized the build engine for things that it really was never meant to do. For example, there was random item pickups and such. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what they manage to squeeze out of this engine. What kind of workarounds they employ to make it work. To make... To add to the experience of World War II. So, tune in tomorrow and we'll begin taking a look at that. Until then, take care, Internet, and enjoy the games you play. So, don't play this one. <laughs>